Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve this problem, a problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is magnate array problem. So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part. So let's get started with the problem statement now. Before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed the channel till now, and make sure to join our Telegram community as well. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description as well. Other than this, you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter as well. The account has been mentioned in the description as well. So let's get started. The problem says given n magnets which are placed linearly with each magnet to be considered as of point object, each magnet suffers force from its left side magnets such that they repel it to the right and vice versa. All forces are repulsive. The force being equal to the distance 1 by d, 1 upon d, okay, d being the distance here. Now, given the positions of the magnets, the task to find all the points along the linear time where net force is 0. More formally, magnets are placed on x-axis, the coordinates of which are given. You are asked to find out the x-coordinate of all the equilibrium points, that is the point where net force is 0. Okay, so here what do we have? Okay, there are n magnets which are given to us and they have been placed linearly. And with each magnet, we can consider as of a point object. Now they have specified in the question that each magnet does what? It suffers force from its left side magnet such that they repel it to the right and vice versa. Means this is happening uh, from left side as well and from the right side as well. Okay, and also there are all the forces are repulsive. That's what they have mentioned. Now, we have been provided the positions of the magnet. Our task is to find all the points along the linear line uh, where net force is zero. Now, they have been placed on x-axis. That's what given. And we have to find out the x-coordinates of all the equilibrium points. Now, what is the equi equilibrium points? The point where net force is zero. So, you notice the point each magnet repels each other. It means the polarity of the magnet is such that it exerts positive force in its right side and negative force in the left side so positive is considered in positive direction of x axis and that forces are inversely proportional to the distance inversely proportional to the distance means that if like how is the relationship between both force and distance if distance is more force will be less and if force is more distance will be less that's what inversely proportional if it, if it was directly proportional, then if force is increasing, distance is increasing, right? So that's what not the relation is. That is inversely proportional. Okay, I hope you must have got it. So let's proceed. That and that forces are inversely proportional to the distance. Thus, there lies an equilibrium point between every two magnets. So I will explain this point. What do they mean by this? For example, there are n magnets like this. Here we are having two two magnets. So between one and two, there would be an equilibrium point that that's what they're saying so when there were two magnets we got one equilibrium points similarly similarly let's see what they have mentioned that thus there will be total of n minus one equilibrium points so if there are n magnets okay if there are n magnets then there would be n minus one for example here there were two magnets so one n minus one means two minus one one equilibrium point was there okay so we have to find all those n minus one points notice given that Array M is sorted. This is a hint for you. And distance have to be calculated with precision of two decimal places. Sorted. If this thing is there, something must be ringing in your mind. What it could be? It could be bandy search maybe. Yeah. So let's understand the same with the help of an example. N equal to 2. This is the array given to us. 1 comma 2. Output we are getting for that is 1.50. Means this is the equilibrium point. So here if you will see. 1. The midpoint between uh, these two positions is going to be what? 2 plus 1, 3 divided by 2, 1.50. Okay. Now, what is the equilibrium point? Let's see how they have explained equilibrium point. Where net force is 0. Okay, where net force is 0. So, if for 1.5, you will check. So, 1.5 is somewhere in between. Somewhere, let's say this is in between. So, 1.5 minus 1. What you What you are going to get? 1 divided by what was the formula? First of all, let's understand the formula that was here. 1 
divide by d so what is the distance between 1.5 and 1 what is the distance 0.5 similarly distance between 2 and 1.5 0.5 so 1 upon 0.5 1 upon 0.5 like from both the side the force is equal right so it will what compensate so the midpoint of two points will have net force as zero that's why the midpoint is what equilibrium point so here's the next example so for this one we are getting these values so i'll be explaining i'll be explaining this part don't worry so we are getting 3.82 15.00 26.18 whatever our task is that we have to complete the function null points which takes the array m its size n as inputs and an answer array get answer to store the points having net force zero till the size two decimal basis expected time complexity is big of n square log n expected auxiliary space is big of one right so i hope the problem statement is clear for you so let's understand the logic part now okay so let's understand this is the magnets array given to us so 0 10 20 30 right so if see first of all they mentioned that we will be having n minus 1 equilibrium points okay it means here one point will be there here here so when n equal to 4 is there right so how many points we got three points we got right so with every adjacent uh, you know magnets will be having a point also they have clearly specified that uh, each magnet will be getting a uh, a force from its left as well as from the right side magnets okay so i hope till here everything is clear so if this point we will consider which one if this point we will consider this one this one so you can see for this one we are getting 15 as the 15.00 as the equilibrium points right so if i am asking you to find the mid mid so what you will tell me is okay 20 plus 10 30 30 divided by 2, 15 is the midpoint, right? 15 is the midpoint, okay? Now, if you will check the force, so as if they have mentioned, this is only the equilibrium point for these two adjacent magnets. So, how we can say so? So, if from here, you will check the force on this point from the magnets that we do have. So, from here, what would be the force? 1, okay, 1 upon 15 minus 10, that is 1 by 5. Now, this magnet from this magnet, the force will be? 1 upon 15 minus 0 that is 1 by 15 now from the right side if you will check from the right side also so 1 upon 20 minus 15 will be getting 5 1 by 5 right that would be negative okay now here also 1 upon 1 upon 15 minus 30 so that would be 1 by 15 negative so you can see it got cancelled right they all got cancelled and this is the only point the net force here is what zero the net force here is what zero that's why we are getting this point as the equilibrium points so that's what we have to do now something that must have stuck or uh, stuck to your mind that is binary search binary search so let's say if i'm talking about these two points zero and ten so what would be the mid position here what would be the mid, mid position five right it would be five let me mention here so let's say low zero high as high as 10 so mid is what mid is what 5 so again we'll be doing the same thing we'll be calculating the force from the left as well as from the right so from the left if you will check so what we'll be having this is the point let's say 5 so 1 upon 5 minus 0 1 upon 5 minus 0 you'll be getting 1 by 5 and from the right part what we'll be getting 1 upon so these magnets will be uh, providing the force these will be repelling 10 20 and 30 10 20 and 30 like right here so 1 upon 20 minus 1 upon 10 minus 5 you'll be getting 1 by 5 so this and this got cancelled now this will also put a force so 1 upon 20 minus 5 you'll be getting 1 by 15 other than this this also will put a force 1 upon 30 minus 5 that is this is 30 right 1 upon 30 minus 5 that is 25 right so now from here overall force what we got this got cancelled but this is still here this is still here right so 1 by 15 plus uh, 1 by 25 this is still here so what you can observe here what you can observe here that the left force the force that we have got from the left side from here and the overall force that we got from the right side so what we observe from here that the left force is what it is lesser than that of the right force and what we want we want our force the net force to be equal to 
zero, approximately equal to zero. So what we have to do for this making it uh, approximately equal to zero? Left force is smaller. So we have to do the compensation right in such a way that left force ko we want to increase. Now we want to increase the force. What we have to do? We have to decrease the distance. Decrease the distance. So because force is inversely proportional to distance. That's what given in the question here. So what we can do? How we can reduce the distance from the left side? We can change our height from 10 to 5. That is this mid value itself. So high will be high will be five this time, and again we'll be doing the same calculation. Let me write here. We'll be doing the so low this time as zero, high as high as five. So what would be the mid mid now? This time it would be two point five. It would be there was somewhere two point five. Now again, if you will do the calculation, right? If you will do the calculation from left force, the left force LF. Let me write LF. The left force that you're gonna get is uh, one upon two point five minus zero. So 2.5 and RF that is right force that we'll be getting is 1 upon 10 minus 2.5 plus 1 upon 20 minus 2.5 plus 1 upon 30 minus 2.5 right so if you will calculate this one right this right force so you will find that the right force is what this time what is the scenario that right force is smaller than that of the left force right so again for the compensation what we need to do we have to increase the right force so how this could be done how this could be done we'll be shifting the values again so this time low value we are going to make it as low value we are going to make it as what 2.5 and high value will be what 5 itself now again the same process is going to be repeated till the time so we will continuing this process we will continue this process. We will be moving like this till the time we are we are not getting this right forces equal to that of the left forces, right? Because as we have to calculate the equilibrium points for the same. Okay. So I hope the process is now clear for you. Obviously, we have to use the binary search only that we discussed. So if the logic part is clear, then let's proceed to the coding part now. Uh, so here you can see what we are doing is for each adjacent point, right? I as well as I plus one, we are determining the uh, we are determining the point, the equilibrium point, and we are storing this to get answer I get answer matrix, right? So this is the matrix. The, sorry, get answer array. So this is the array that they have provided to us. So at get answer zero position, the value will that will be getting from this helper function to which we are passing magnets of i. So let's say we were having the same array, right? So i position the element was zero, and at i one i plus one we were having ten. So zero and ten we are passing. And other than this, we are passing the magnets array and the size of the array, right? And we are storing the values that we are getting to the position. Now, n minus one, uh, we have given, right? That's for sure. Because see, for n, if we are having n magnets, so, so for them, how many points will be there? n minus one, right? So for each adjacent, we are calculating i and i plus one. So let's say what we are doing is function. So this function is mainly taking care of that. Uh, binary search thing that we just discussed. So what we are doing here in this function, so while low value is less than or equal to high, first of all we are calculating the mid, right? We are calculating the mid, and then here this variable is for keeping track of the force, overall force that we are getting from the left as well as from the right magnets. So how we are calculating this force? So for int i equal to zero, i less than n. So how we are calculating the force? So force they have given to us as one upon distance. So distance means mid minus for example when we were having 0 10 right so what was the mid mid was 5 so for each from each left as well as right magnets we were calculating the force so from the left we were having something like this one upon 5 minus 0 right right so this, this is the way like we have to calculate one upon mid value is what so according to the mid value we have to check okay so this is how we are calculating the overall force from the left as well as the right magnets here and storing this in force now if c if the force value that we have got if that is less than zero then what we are doing if it is less than zero means what we have to increase the we have to increase the force from the left side so what we are doing is we are reducing the distance means we are updating the value of high to mid otherwise there can be scenario that right force is what right force is smaller than that of the left force so we are updating the value of low as mid 
and if see we have reached to the position we have reached to the equilibrium point means the force is across like absolute we have used here because force can be negative if the force has become less than less than to this particular value it means it has become approximately approximately equal to that of zero only and that's what we are looking for so that is the point we are looking for so if this condition became true it means we are simply returning that midpoint itself because that would be our answer and at the last we are simply returning low okay so i hope that is clear for you so thank you for watching this video the code is provided in the description if you want to have a look for the difference i have provided in the description so make sure to solve this problem the problem link is provided in the description thank you so much for watching don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you